for the time being, but 42 members on the other side of this. Toxins going up. Gotta keep it clean on the way in, though. Rotation finally coming in, and that's perfect from Mikkel. Good start for him. Gonna crack things open once on one side, and once on the other. So a trade out comes in, but the site's really under control already. Jados has to relinquish standing. control, but he couldn't make it out in time. Maybe he just downs an Atsuna 1v4 presented, and it's unpleasant by all the yeah. downs in G. And rotation gets called again. Again, a Vova is being such a problem here. Well, now that he's dealt with. Chronicle what and Shados now can commit to this. Shados spike will find down the first a. meadow. Actually, going to find Chronicle as well. I got the spike. Last man standing. Finds himself in a 1v3. 10 seconds left here. I mean, he can, if he can find the skill, he can potentially get the plant, the red guard. They're being funneled. You just saw the smoke coming through as well. That's from Nats. Nice reactive play, a little bit more ability oh. to do that. Mitchell, though, leading the pack, going to connect towards Shados. Chronicle still alive on the back of the site. I guess that does remove the one player that could really be a problem to him, but Nats still wants to try and punish. Ricky finds Redgar. Hold on, that's not clean from Nats. What? That's a problem. G2 digging in their heels to this round. Defo now presented a 1v3. It's uncomfortable. The ult goes in. Why not? You want to secure this round and meta with a perfect timing. Finding Defo and it just fell apart like a house of cards. Nat's going to put another smoke down there to just prevent the utility now being invested to clear nice. Defo out and he will be noted on the back of that shot. Could be a nice round, mid-round call coming out from G2. How to work around this up and that's exactly how. G2-3 back to back just like there's Nat is still lingering around though, so the police claim of over on the way, but they did get a spike plant and a four-man swing. They don't want to allow Nat any room to work as Chronicle, the 1v3 ain't going to be easy. You can see, I imagine G2 will sit a little deeper now. They don't need to overly challenge. They don't need to overly push and give him opportunity. I turn it into B right now. And probably a nice greed off the back of what could have been a stack. Great idea coming out. Actually, Mech now pounds. They Five find that pressure minutes. coming through the middle. And this is perfect. Remaining. What a way to crunch in. And I didn't mind the approach from G2, but Mech was so ready to react accordingly. And now I've over a 1v3. Doesn't have spike. That's a deep in enemy territory. Has the first, but he will not Gun follow here. up. Mech and this A plant maybe catch a rotation. Red guard does find that. Actually, he will fall. Life is a bit invested. Actually, Mech, Mech happy to fight this. Yeah, this is systematic destruction. Mech are, are done backing away and respecting this approach that G2 are trying to bring. They're fighting them further forward. That's his way on the back side. There's that left. secondary layer, but it's a little late in the day. Seven seconds, maybe not. Left the ult's still there, but Nats denies it. Spike, Spike now lost. This is One all secondary. Remaining. Nats just has to play his life a couple more seconds, and it's done. The time's on their side, and yeah, the kill's there in the end, but it matters not. It's been a problem. You saw him at the top of the tube. You've seen him kind of ratting out on sight. Now this is again. Nats going to find Mixball. He's really holding that mid presence of being a problem. There goes the ult, and there goes the ult. Gonna be gone away, but their swing is perfect. It's gorgeous work between the two of them. The synergy is phenomenal. Mech are just stunning to watch sometimes. It all looks like it's against them, and they just flip the switch, and it's there for them. Avova has nothing to do but die in this. So many angles to worry about, but Mike, talk me through that round. That was perfect. Did Chronicle just bait his trap? All comes through. Need to actually, yeah, Chronicle will fall on about a 10 8 speed, but Shock Dart will do the job. Did you actually get a clean plan? Oh, look at, look at the pace going back in, a little messy from Shados, but desperately wanted to clear the front side of sight. Not going to be allowed in this instance as already. You can see this retake getting a little bit tougher. Defo, Nap, and Redgar. Undesirable scenario, and no one really given many opportunities. Nuki so ready for that, presented so well. And yeah, great work between the two. The pace change coming out from G2 here has been something that's definitely caught a little bit of an attention now from Mech, as Nats could do what he can on the way out. But they're all exiting. Back through Snipe, catches Mix to trade out. G2 continue forward. Again, all effective trading. And Metal has been quite the tip of the spear here. This has been very good so far today. Shados still alive, as is that. And there's the backline defense. Meadow barely breathing. Mixwell is alive. 51 seconds and spike in hand. There's still a chance. But Meadow's HP is such a problem. Finally, we might see them uh, pivot towards B here. There is somewhere else on this map. <laughs> is it 2 HP on Meadow? Mixwell. That works. No damage as of yet, but actually still... Got all his utility as well. So two traps to work with. Shados already making moves this way, but he's got mm -hmm. a Guardian, so... A 1v2 is going to be difficult if he finds both of them. We'll hear the Has spike being planted. Spike, plant. spike planted. Oh, oh another timing from Mixwell. 
He had to protect the spike pond. That was his one major duty, and now already the denial on everything. It's just the rifle at his side, and Meadow's got two HP to try and work with. Nat's going to set this into motion. Meadow wants to dip in to play with. Still looking as Meg have crept the so Ooh, That's a free peek and a free call as well. Hoodie's going to be so aware Spike now of what's going to be coming peak. down his way. Going to find both of them, Depo and Redgar, gone, leaving Shados and Chronicle. Speaking of, though, Chronicle, a little better equipped. The spike Last has been noted. Standing. And Shados, 8 HP. Not a pretty situation. And the shots aren't pretty either. That's going to be G2 with the first and the second half. But again, Mech. They're a dangerous, dangerous team, even down to the last couple of seconds of Ova's positioning. He's playing on finest margins here. The players know that he knows what's coming his way, how much can he do to the hand. He still points one, but a quick trade out for Shados. Pop on the all. Now Mido is going to be just the right player's side, and the burst potential from Mech is realized. You see it as clear as day. As Mixwell nowhere near the right side, he does have the opt to hand, and how much is it? But it being nookie and not your meadow or of over exactly, that should be exactly. the green light absolute green light and maybe a red light there for depo getting caught out by hoodie no rifle to be recovered from that just yet but the wall might facilitate a little bit of recovery towards it but Nats does find mixed well again look out for the power players meadow and of over nookie still found shade dos of over sound Nats. Ow. this is not what you're meant to be seeing the scenes here are unbelievable redgar and chronicle the last two standing need to dig their heels in swing from redgar forced to fight and g2 turn this round this round and the crazy thing is shoot but again of over utility down gonna try and funnel them forward remove some of those lines of approach they'd be trying to depend upon nookie on the swing nookie and of over and perfect combination the site's under control g2 quick reads quick rotations i can't quite take them away though doesn't know the nats is around here just yet and that's ain't moving he's digging in deeper he wants to try and keep this one in check of over trying to clear towards the site makes well find shade off says the swing from nats they didn't know he was there still nookie well, I've seen him get one out of that. As Mixwell now in a 1v2. What can you do with this? Can you find the last three? He finds one. He's got a time limit, though. He has to move quick, and Redgar has the freest kill of his life. And Mech are still alive. 12 to G2, 8 to Mech. And similar scenes. It looks like somewhat rinse and repeat. And that's the different approach, though. Shadow's yeah. going to try and deny a Bova. So he's now just tucked in the corner. Going to hope that someone can maybe take the first contact. Oh, no my God, a Bova. You are an animal. Absolutely unchained here. Wow. That is a shutdown. Defenders that win. is a shutdown and a shut. The bait on long coming out. And I'm waiting to see if this works. So Hoodie's going to get all the attention. Flash is going to be back online. Noted the player. And Avova not being subtle. Well, actually, they didn't know the player, but they still get to play in at least Avova. One for one trade out, TP taken. Lair being now hoodie. Can't do it. Shados there shuts him down, and all exchanges now at least looking favorable for Mech. Now, yeah, Nookie's on the way. We do have two players towards CT, but they have no access now as the spike's going down. Mech find themselves in a favorable scenario here. 4v3 actually now. Redguard dealing with Nookie's going to make that even better. Meadow and Mixwell have to try and recover something here. Meadow not being given a peek, though. Mech now will dig their heels in. Mixwell, one left in the chamber. That's where you can find no, on the way back out. <laughs> All right, showers. And actually back towards shore. Yep. G2 can commit an extra body here. Absolutely. I guess the only problem really becomes if they lose TP control to an extent. In the red car. Where did you just get that from? Finds of over out of nowhere. But yeah, Mixwell tames the problem quite quickly. They could access through Hooker, but they know that there's now presence and they've lost that spot towards Long. Hoodie can make this crossfire work. And there's the first contact. There's the thing. Lovely. Really nice push and pull between the two. Need to be keeping four standing. Mixwell still going to get some contact and there's a lurk on the other side. There's the judge. We said that this could be the next level of adaptation. There it is. Avova sitting with the judge, waiting patiently. He's got B all by himself at this point. You can see almost the rotation coming out from Hoodie there as well, but there's the springboard, there's the go signal, and it goes absolutely nowhere. Mixwell sits in no man's land, does get traded, Shade in it. But Meadow quickly puts his life on the line, puts his body on the line, and Nuki doesn't even just see them, just fans in the right place, right time, wall goes up. Pete gets made, Shade off notes a bare minimum one, maybe two, but he wants to spike on. He at least wants the time on his side as his teammates are gone. His vision now limited and removed. He's just Absolutely vulnerable to everything. And G2. Yeah. And they're happy to try and deny the flash. Yeah. Second flash a little deeper. All comes in to try and potentially remove. Yeah. Meadow comes on face. Mickwell just puts the barrel in the belly of Defo. And already that's the first pick going to G2's way. Mickwell 
get out of it. Gets his way out of the smoke. 13 seconds. Spike down. Is down. They're running out of time. They're running out of options. Nook is going to keep that all in hand. Sends it eventually. Doesn't quite find what he wants, but they've stopped the hit. They have nothing to work with here. This has been really without much teeth to this bark that came through from Neck. There was no bite to follow. Here, but quick rotation is coming in. Hoodie can even catch Chronicle on the way out. That's an issue. Now the Seeker's come down on the other side. He's going to invest there. Red Guard, great trade out, but there are two players on the back lines. Look at these rotations. Not going to be able to double down there neither. Of over six around as well. Real twins of fight, but there's the rotation. It's in place early. Yes, they make it to the site this time, but can they make any more of this? Mixwell gets out of danger for now. It's Defo and Shade off. Oh, 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 and Mixwell's oh. presence Five is down. resounding. Gorgeous play from the man. Right timing, right place. And Defo now presented a puzzle. He's been given a scenario he's had to try and unravel. But again, look at the positioning from Nuki. There's no safe post plant with this man. There's nowhere to comfortable to be. So they'll let him take the plant. You can see the site slowly no being moved plant. away from him. Maybe. He's, he's got it if he wants it. But already, they've cleared a lot of the site. They've cleared a lot of short. Yeah. So process of elimination will eventually give away the game. Now, yes. Got into the post plant. Well, let's see what they do with it now. No, they what they want. Sam is so on the money, though. Shados gets removed. He doesn't even get a, really a say in this round. But look at the purchase as well. Still a frenzy. Still a sheriff. Still a stranger. And Bulldog's the best that they've got to work with. So they're certainly outgunned, but also, I guess, outnumbered. But the players, maybe it comes to Narek and Nook and tries to get defused. He only gets half way. And this is not right for this. It's a 2v1. Nats, have you got any of that magic left in the tank? Enemy Being remains. closed in already. It's critical from the grave. I walk along this super dangerous. Yeah, Red Gars. Seemingly aware of the possibility after that deep flash and for the everything else coming out. And yeah, the follow-up's even better. Unbelievable. G2 trying to get aggressive and it works out for Evova. Now, what do they do with this? They've had success on one side towards two, but they just lost out to Evova. So they've been presented a conundrum here again. Of, well, the res. I guess we have to sit towards that A site. You're right. The res is there if they want to lean towards it. Rotation's going to come in. Nuki is still lingering around that B site. But you are going to see Meadow now coming over. Res comes out. You're right. Nats back on his feet. 36 seconds. Meadow trying to kind of puff up his chest, give away a big picture and oh, no. of over. Did you just accidentally mouse one? I don't know what the plan was there, though, but something looked a little off stray because it didn't look right because now, well, that luck's been found. That was all for nothing. And yeah, Meadow's found one, but it goes green and we have no idea where anyone is. Evova still found Redgar. Spike is ticking, so G2 have a time limit on this. And Nat now beckoned in. Cool protection. Defo just dividing and conquering. Senzio gets it. Defo delivering three. Thank you, Nat. No. No. How can you go from being a hero to being maybe the villain of your own story as Hoodie and Meadow now have to just find Chronicle? And I say that lightly. The clam comes in, he finds what he no stands in again! Chronicle! What? Just can't see. And they're going to spot one crossing towards the site. They do not no, know his what? position. Oh. He's TP down! Oh. He's, he's put into fucking danger! He's still going to just... Ferrari pass Defo. Quickly, the mech regain control. Finding Mixwell and Hoodie. Uh, Bova still standing. Meadow tries to just walk out, take a wander. It's not going to happen. Nats has you absolutely pinned down. Spike comes in. It's the three-man post plant. Nuki in the back lines once again, but... Yeah, with nobody playing towards long, it's going to run the clock down a lot. And with Nats actually holding a Vova down 47 HP, he's got to try and make a move out here, but it's not comfortable. Here, TP's in, gets one tag from the Vandal. That's 40. Okay. No way. Nookie's found okay, it. Okay, Nookie found Chronicle. They've got to know there's another. They have to know there's another. <gasps> they found the other. They found Shados. They found Shados in that. How? Again, the How? synergy was lovely, but this this is just ridiculous to me. Can we just the last couple of rounds feel like a fever dream in the Chronicle? Yeah. Chronicle still stands, tries to deal with Mixwell's hands away. <laughs> the ghost going turbo speed didn't really help, sadly. As it is down to a 3v3, though. They haven't quite cleared the site. The TP gets taken, but A is completely open for the taking. Yeah, as you're over, we'll find space towards heaven as well. They wouldn't have heard this TP. No, we're near Nats. His knife out. No, he's not expecting it. We'll be punished. That gives G2 the advantage now. Removes some of that possibility away, doesn't it? Mech now have to kind of funnel themselves forward. Defo has slipped further than maybe they'd expect, but Evova's going to be a problem just the whole time. He's buying time. This is all seconds on the board that G2 will love. Thank him for later. In, and a kill would have been... Ideal, but it's fine. He's done the damage. A tap on the spike kind of reveals at least Defo's position. They know one was towards heaven. Hadn't dropped yet. They want to deal with the spike. The fuse may completely ignore heaven. And Hoodie now. Close flash comes in. Catches him on the cross. Notes him on the site. 
closes the gap and finds the little bit of something to it. But he does at least have a rifle. The rest are on the specters. That works. But again, keep in mind that Nookie is here. And this guy, when it comes to pace, when it comes to that next layer he can provide, it can be quite substantial. For now, it all gets shut down. This is good work from Mech. On B. Defo will find another as well. Meadow. Now. Oh, yeah, that flash. flash. You gotta check it, though, right? Checked. Yeah. Oof. Thank God. It looked like he almost looked away for a moment there. Redgar Side eventually goes down, down, but he takes two with him. The site is now under G2 control, but keep in mind, Nats, that judge could be hard to bring to a position to really utilize, and you can see the slow creep coming around from the back side of Elbow. And Nookie's there going to find it. And do something with this, but you're right. The ult's gonna come down, it's actually right on the money. Nookie has to move, sits further away, goes to the plant again. G2 need a frag here, desperately to stem this, because you can see the build back in from Mech is good, but Hoodie just about keeps that tap in control towards heaven. The ult comes online now, gonna at least smother the site, keep that one safe for now. Nookie outdone by Defo. Now, Lamps is back in Mech hands. A Vova, though, back filling this. Does have a gap to watch this cross pots. One takes that chance, pulls the trigger, finds Defo, now considers another, and that is gonna actually kind of catch Nats. That buys time to allow this cross, cross to be watched. And again, he knows there's gonna be more here. Time being bored. This is all playing so well into G2's hands, but there's still rifles ready for Mech and Meadow. It's just spreading the gap in between the two players. They had no idea. And Shados is being presented no options. A Vova being so hard to clear here. TP taken, yeah, it doesn't matter. Actually, Seekers come in. This is the worst timing. You're feeling uncomfortable. And look at the HP at the back of the site. There goes Redgar, the first man. The point guard's gone and G2 have the sight. The res could come in and there it is. They're three back on their feet, but this is desperation. This is a necessity. As G2 have full hold on the site, they have a five man post plant and mech are a mile away. They can do nothing about Saving. this. This is a save. This is 12 on the board. G2 are absolutely categorically out playing mech at the moment. I mean, they've, they've been totally shut out of the second half. Coming into that, I think Shados only purchased a light shield here, so he's got 2,300 in the bank. He can throw across a, a weapon, potentially. Remove at least the tip of the spear and give them a little bit of control back towards Tuka, but Meadow's read it, but Meadow goes down. Oh, Brilliant work from that. Redgar. That's even a rifle retrieved. This is good. This is maybe just going to stem a little bit of that bleeding. The spike here. Three remain. The old still in place on A. This. Yeah, they're, they're going to try and rework towards that. And no one's actively facing this way right now. It's all three players facing towards long. This smoke is keeping this at least safe for now. And I say safe for now because Nookie is waiting. And they're actually pulling a player away. Okay, so it's now down a little lighter on this side. They've only got two holding it deeper, positioning two. Ready to maybe sit for a post plant if worse comes to worse. You've got Chronicle catching the cross. You're going to have Nookie in towards Hooker. He's about to make his way at least across. And there's the first fight. It's gorgeous oh, from Chronicle oh, 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 oh. Sharp. 19 HP for Revolver, 22 for Redguard, but they have to hold. They can't give up too much space here. It's a freebie for Nookie. He's going to maybe look a little further. CT, yeah, they want it. They're going to swing it. Shados sees it, though. Keeps it in hand. Safe hands for now. Revolver had to try float coming out from Redgar. Shados does get cut off from this, so they should at least have access towards the site, potentially. The cross is going to be made. Hoodie's found Nap. Avova's found Chronicle. Nookie's found Redgar. Hold on, this isn't how it goes. Shados! Perfect timing to come alive. A 1v2 for Hoodie, but it's only six seconds. He's got to find both of facing. Okay, it's fine. Shados is fine. He keeps his... Has it been seen? No. Avova's behind enemy lines. The flash goes in. It's not to the smoke. He knows that Redgar's trying to find him. Flash still doesn't find the follow-up. Avova's found Redgar. It's That's in the back lines. He's pulling all the players away. And it's going to be a B hit. G2 might have hit him with the most ultimate rope a piece. The double fake. Almost a triple pump at this point. Nats on the TP is going to find the pointy end of the stick. It's 13 seconds. The spike's going down. Avova is just destroying them. A man behind the wire. As Chronicle now presents the unthinkable, the undoable. Maybe you can dig deep enough to do damage, but how much more? Because right now, G2 do not care about the odds. They might just be forcing Mech to go home. Do not see Iceland. And that's what this is all about. And 2 HP, it's Meadow. And G2 stay alive. And Mech are done. Wow.